Good morning from Metrigoria. Let's start our tour here. It's warm, it's sunny, perfect to walk. A beautiful morning here, as you can see. walk on this side we are passing through a residential area here in Medjugorje and they are constructing another building over there you can see it in front of us there's the Irish house apartment hotel if you are looking for an apartment to rent here in Medjugorje the Irish house is one of them And here a total new block is built, look at that. And a house over there, I didn't see that one. Wow, it's advancing. As far as I understood, there will be more blocks coming here. And we are passing Hotel Marconi. and Magnificat Monica and Hotel Krakus is coming up over there. Finally the sun again, so nice. Because the last few days freezing, freezing cold in like at night three degrees Celsius and this should go up again, 9 degrees, 10 degrees, 12 degrees the next day. 21 degrees, 24 degrees Celsius high temperatures. And look at that tree. And you see the traces of Medjugorje before. That was vineyards and tobacco cultivation. And let's pray a simple prayer in the morning. Jesus, take my hand, Our Lady, take my hand, and guide me every second of the day in the divine will through the guidance of the Holy Spirit. And let's be covered by the precious blood of Jesus Christ and by the motherly mantle of Our Lady that we are prepared for this day. There's Hotel Santa Maria over here. You see more pensions on this side. Uh, 
Uh, look who is coming there, Dragan. You see, it's, it's a simple life here, as you can see. Dragan makes wine, honey. So get, get to his... Nice to see you, Dragan. How are you doing? Good morning, sir. How Go are you? Good, and you? Uh, what would you like to tell the people? How is... To, to do some cleaning in the house. Some, some, oh, that's some the... Kiwis. Oh, nice to see you, man. I'm good. No, why not? I have something for you here. This is the youngest citizen of Medjugorje. Look there, isn't he beautiful? Nico. Nico. But we don't want to disturb Nico. He's dreaming of our lady of Gospa. <laughs> so we let Nico and look at the happy parents. Now you saw the youngest member of Medjugorje, youngest citizen of Medjugorje, 20 years old. And we continue our morning tour here in Medjugorje. You, if you want to buy honey from Dragan, you go over there. I don't think the jacket actually is so warm. And we go a bit around here. This is the way to Chikluk and to Mosta, by the way. You go down that road. And you see there, I think there's still snow on the mountains. We will check that out. Looks like a bit. Look over there, the mountains. Looks a bit like snow still. And we continue our tour here in Medjugorje. We have St. James Church down the road. And I will take you a bit further up the road here. There's the post office over there. Just sort of, I go to the bakery and have a little croissant and, um, and a coffee. But I will see, maybe I'll take you further. Of course, you can just before you take the bus here in the morning, 7 30 bus to Split or 6 30, I think, to Dubrovnik, you can go in the coffee shop. and have a nice coffee and croissant there. I'm already tempted, but I will see. There are fresh baked stuff to eat. But I think I will keep on going. There's your the barber shop. If you want to have a nice hairdress, your hairdress, go to your over there. We keep on going over here. For women, they can go here for hair dressing. And then you have a nice bar where a lot of men go. It's a cultural thing, men go out here in Brothers. Some women too. But I heard men go out separately, women go out separately. And you see the motorbikes coming. And we keep on going, you see that's Brothers, a nice bar. Upload speed for internet is very, very good here, by the way. You need to upload video or something. And there's Konsum over there. And there's Hotel Herzig, Forster Hotel. They have a nice coffee terrace as well over there. But I will keep going. thought about getting some stuff maybe in Namex but I think I will do that later. 
so happy the sun is out again and this creeping cold yesterday night it was so cold you saw I didn't do a night tour I went earlier home because it was so cold there's Namex where you can get some good stuff but I will keep going with you guys to see some new roads here in Medjugorje you see springtime in Medjugorje I lived before further up the road you remember and then I started the videos up there and you see springtime I love favorite time of the year for me You see different parts of Medjugorje. My Italian friend, Maria Paola, just was thinking of her, and there she's passing by. Hello, morning. And you see that's Medjugorje. You see the nuns, the priests, a prototype of a Catholic parish, I call it. Let's make a tour this morning a bit further up. Well, let me see, maybe I can take down here the road for you guys. We will see. By the way, nice coffee shop here as well coffee and cake when you come ice cream fresh juice ice coffee lovely good quality but wait I go down there I go this way just to check you show you the coffee shop Laudre here and I will go down this road We are coming now in the old part of Medjugorje. the old houses the new houses next to it and a lot of gardens people like farming here as they were farmers and it's a passion my dad is a farmer and this is a lifelong vocation and passion farming it's like being a priest I would say or like acting I don't know a lot of actors say it's their vocation to be an actor it's done with a lot of love and devotion and it's nice the fresh worked fields and gardens see the fresh earth something nice to watch and look at now so we see a bit different parts of Medjugorje there's another I would say pension here you discover different parts of Medjugorje I don't pass very often here you know it and look our lady isn't that beautiful and let's keep on going I just li like the nature and the, the, the stones just everything very crowned here Look at that, isn't that nice? Old Medjugorje. A 
and then you have the pensions, the new Medjugorje, the farming houses, the old and the pensions next to it. So you can see in a few meters the history of Medjugorje. Here you have the pension and the old farming house. Look here again. How they built the roofs. All with the rocks of the fields here in Medjugorje. I will go down this road with you guys. And kiwis, everybody has kiwis. As you saw, like Tragan had the old kiwis. He was cleaning the tree. Fig trees and wine. And if you know Lord of the Rings, look at that mountain over there. It looks like Mordor. And when the sun is setting, you see that mountain over there. It's incredible. By the way, Lord of the Rings, the writer was a Catholic and it was all inspired by the Catholic faith. If you have Galadriel, for example, inspired by Our Lady, the battle of good and evil, and look this, the flowers dancing in the wind, God's creation, isn't that beautiful? And get the eyes to see that things again you know the small things of life that's what a lot of people say here they come back to the basics to simple life i don't know if the street is going on here we will see and you see the crepes magical before and after and the houses and the because so many pilgrims come so you need a lot of housing to accommodate them as Ann Bukic said yesterday in the video, please watch that video, Ann Bukic, she is a native from the area. And she, she made a long interview and she talked about the history, what happened to her the first week. And you have palm trees, you see, we're close to the Mediterranean Sea. Coming back to Anne Vukic, very, it changed her life. She was here the first week when the apparition happened. She went to the mountain with her parents and it changed completely her life. Watch the video first while watching. Amazing testimony. And you have again the old parts of Medjugorje here. Look, the smells of this stuff is so good. It's time, no? Mm, so good. And you see old part of Medjugorje? How the architecture looked like? Hello. And the new part. And then <coughs> a lot of people say, like I heard, especially in America, they have all these fancy cars, they have the BMW, Mercedes here. You know why that is? Because they're all very smart, they buy the Mercedes second hand in Germany. The market is so huge and it's different, there's no import tax like in America. So the, they are smart, they buy good second hand cars which last very long and that is Mercedes mainly and Volkswagen. Here you have a Volkswagen, not too many BMW, somebody interested in cars. It's that, look at that, maybe I take here a screenshot of old Medjugorje, look at that. This view, doesn't it look nice? So they buy the cars in Germany and bring them over, it's not too far away. And their favorite cars are second half Volkswagen and BM, um, Volkswagen and Mercedes, some BMW as we saw now. And look again here, Our Lady over there. Old town Medjugorje. I love passing through here. You have the charm, the silence, just beautiful the birds. And people working. And you've got the new architecture next to it. Pension and cross mountain in the back.
And still farming is going on in Medjugorje, as you can see here. Working in the fields, cleaning, and Cross Mountain again over there. And St. James Church over here. Listen to the birds, so beautiful God's creation. The veils for the mass. Thank you. 
and the olive wood rosaries. Look at that one as well, so nice. And the rosaries with flowers. And we are coming to the main road, Medjugorje. And I will soon have my espresso in the morning, can't wait for that one. Here is the main road. You're good? And there we go, the church. And there was a friend of mine in the back calling. And you have the main road again here in Medjugorje. You see hustle and bustle, something different than the birds we listened to three, four, five minutes ago. But you have both here in Medjugorje. You can have nice conversations, praying together, all nature. That is the beauty about that place. How long does it take? I don't think it's and be around 12.15 now. So if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button and give a like. And leave comments from where you're watching. I'm creating India, Mauritius, the island of Mauritius. Amazing. We can reach with a simple phone. We can do evangelization. You can do it as well. Start a YouTube channel. Upload Catholic content. And I have to take off my jacket, it's much too warm yesterday, and ice cold. This morning, already summer again. So this is April weather in Medjugorje. And here we are at St. James Church. So please pray for me as I pray for you. Have a joyful, beautiful day wherever you are around the world. Keep me and my family in your prayers. I ask only that. And here is St. James Church and on the right Our Lady, beautiful as always. And let's entrust this week to her, to her son, everything, our worries, anxieties, prayer vocations, mental problems, financial problems, whatever you have, relational problems with children, parents, spouses, and trust everything to Our Lady and to Jesus. They will take care of everything. And we say three times, Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. And we say that in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And I take you a bit farther then. Here. Yeah. Maybe to the new museum, but I want to show you a bit here how is St. James Church at 12.15. You see, season has started, a lot of pilgrims are here. And let's continue a bit more our tour. I show you the museum. And you see nice products all over. So when you come, you can take something home nice. Bracelets as well. Look at that one. I think this is very cute. For babies, Medjugorje, Our Lady and the Guardian Angel. And you see people on the terrace and enjoying the sun. And look what we have on the menu today up at the museums. Um, the restaurant Pizza Iberia Margarita, 7 euros. Carabonara, 9 euros. Shibabchi, I would say. Shibabchi, yeah. Shibabchi, that's how you write it. Look, the, the, the meat from here. 8 euros, nice prices and nice products. You come up there, look 
at the museum and you can have that food over there give you just a little impression there's also a nice museum shop then there is the sculpture with the water so you can relax and have a nice talk like these people have over there in the evening there's a bar here where you can chill very very nice and they have music concerts in summer and you see here the museum the restaurant and the entrance and I take you down again to the main road for my latest espresso I can't wait for that one now You see all the restaurants on that side where you can go and have a nice espresso or some food or stroll just a look a bit for nice products to take home some devotionals rosaries bracelets so many things and you see a lot of people here in Medjugorje this morning there is St. James Church over there and the main road over here and i leave you with the view on the main road and st saint church again it's a beautiful sunny day here around 21 to 24 degrees celsius and god bless you all from medjugorje please pray for me as i pray for you here in medjugorje have a joyful day wherever you are around the world